Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for an album review. In yesterday's video, you may have noticed I swapped a few album covers around. I'll try not to make such mistakes in the future. But what you may have also noticed is that yesterday I reviewed a punk album that I didn't really care for all too much. But today, I would love to introduce you to a punk album that I care for quite a bit. Poor Lily's self-titled LP. Poor Lily is a punk trio from the Bronx. These three guys have varying levels of experience with punk music. The guy with the longest rap sheet in the group is Max Capshaw, who has drummed in such bands as Murphy's Law, H2O, Sick of It All, a lot of New York punk and hardcore groups. But despite his experience as a drummer, he for the most part plays guitar in this band. The band's drummer actually has some roots in the New York hardcore scene as well, and the youngest member of the group is the singer-bassist, the youngest at 26 years old. So even though two-thirds of this band have held down regular jobs and raised families, they still musically sound like 19-year-olds who like screaming, moshing, shoplifting, and going to the record store every Saturday. So the energy here is just very, very young, but the style of music, of course, is, is not. These guys cherry-pick, in my opinion, from a lot of my favorite punk and post-punk groups throughout the 70s and 80s. There are spots where just New York punk and thrash crossover stuff bleed into the guitars a little bit. There's some very Minor Threat-esque narrations on the track In Gravitas Veritas. And sometimes the satire laced into this music can be as strong as the Dead Milkmen's, or even the Dead Kennedy's. The opening track just reminds me of Mission of Burma a lot. Sometimes these vocals just hit a very Roger Miller-esque chord. And I think Minutemen fans will love just how eccentric, jagged, and angular this music is to it. Just jerks around in a really awkward and weird way. There are 13 tracks here. It's kept down to a very lean 23 minutes. It's downloadable for free on the band's website. And I gotta say my favorite thing about this LP is the is the personality. It's not the weirdest thing on the block, but it flies a really honest freak flag. Like the song Decide to Sleep, which is literally about becoming a maniac over a lack of sleep, which I can relate to. But my favorite is Easily Regular Guy, which is a series of mad internal ravings from someone who might just be your next door neighbor. Like, I hate doctors, and I don't vote, and I perform my own surgery. With other lyrics about needles, and sex, and machine guns, and people who kind of make you think, what a shithead. There, there is not a dull moment on this album, vocally or lyrically. Another thing on this album that is completely free of dull moments for me is just how these guys put their songs together. Some tracks here don't even repeat themselves, have like an A, B, C structure, and then ends. And even the longer tracks here, where there are verses and choruses going back and forth, like 800 Jerks or In Gravitas Veritas, there's a huge angry, aggressive build-up at the end of the track, maybe a gang vocal or two or something. It's like this punk-as-hell volcano is just erupting and, and burning down the town that lived near the volcano. If there's kind of a, a, a weak link in the chain of this LP, though, it's, it's definitely the recording. And not that it's terrible, not that it's lo-fi or anything like that, it just doesn't really bring as much personality to the table as everything else about this album does. It just kind of is. Some of the vocals feel muddy because of the recording or the mix here and there, but luckily the band's musicianship, their riffs, their lyrics, their hooks are just so fierce and, and fun that they step past any limitations that the recording has for me. It's a short, solid punk album that looks backwards, but doesn't feel dated, has a lot of charisma, a lot of things to say. And uh, I'm loving it. I've had, a, I've had a great time listening to this again and again and again. Uh, feeling a light eight on this album, but linked below this video on YouTube, and also search Poor Lily on the needledrop.com. Find a link where you can download this album for yourself, hear the whole thing front to back, 
and let me know what you think. Love it? Hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantana, Poor Lily, Poor Lily, Forever.